Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Fun and Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. Today, I want to showcase something that somebody else made called Block of Dectra. Now, of course, you know, we went ahead and kind of mimicked it and changed up the chest and stuff. But in the end, it's always good to give credit where credit's due. So Block of Dectra, uh, make sure that you check them out. I'm going to post their video down in the comment down below. Get, leave them a like, comment on their video, tell them how, how amazing it is because it's such a cool invention and I want to showcase it here. I'm not too familiar with electricity and core keeper. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't played around with it too much, but just seeing what we could do here other than our normal little drill setups, it's pretty insane. You start out by making your little generator followed by your switch, followed by your little electric wires, followed by your delay switches um, and your logic boards. And you get down to another generator that basically filters on and filters on. So as you go through, you have your little sticks. One, two, I think there's, wait, I think there's one here, two, and I think that's it. Um, and basically what it does is it forces the drills to be on, off, on, off, on, off. So that way things are not consistently moving too quickly. Otherwise, what would happen if it was on the entire time is items would be basically forced out of one chest and consistently thrown back because the drills would be consistently on the entire time. So that being said, let's make sure that this is the right way because I don't know why it wasn't moving that way. That being said, this is the way that it works. You go to your first chest, which obviously doesn't have any items in it because it's, auto it's automatically already auto sorting it as it is. What it does is it takes, so let's go ahead and find this item. So we got a ground, we got a ground acid slime in here and we have a, let's take, let's take our gold out of here and then let's take some wood out of here and we'll throw in our uh, gooey stone dip snack in here. So the way that it's going to work is exactly like this. You throw in your wood, the drill picks it up, the, or sorry, the uh, the arm picks it up, the drill pushes it a little bit just to reach the other arm, and it brings it down the line. It continues to put it down to each individual chest. So it starts with the first chest and says, okay, is there any wood in here? No, there's not. It's all full. Now, of course, if this was empty, if this spot was empty, the wood would have went in here and it would have stayed in there. And then furthermore, if it would have, it would have just continued to stack until it couldn't stack anymore and then moved on down the, ro the road. But because this was full, Unfortunately, there was no way for it to go in there, so it skipped that, and the drill pushed it a little bit further, forcing it over to here. Checked here, there's no wood, in, there's no inventory, and there's no wood in here, so it moves further down the road. And there is our wood. So if we go ahead and we go like this, we just jam all of our goodies in here, go like this, and as we do it, everything's already being sorted automatically. And look how fast it's going. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is stand too close to here because just like if something was dropped on the ground, it'll automatically add up in your inventory. And that is not obviously what you want. But of course, if you do stand close, just go ahead and put it back inside of the beginner chest and you're all set and ready to go. So as time goes on, the drills continue to do their work. The, the arms continue to do their work. And of course, they're in opposite direction. This drill's facing this way. This drill's facing towards... Uh, this So this arm is facing towards our chest. This arm is facing towards the drill this way. So that way it's basically they're just keep going back and forth. Um, if you copy the this situation, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It just depends on how you want to do it. Of course, you don't necessarily need something this large. Um, and at the end, you can end up with a chest that just has a bunch of scrap and nonsense inside of it. But the bonus is everything's nice and organized. Everything's exactly where it needs to be. And with this recent update coming from Core Keeper, it's going to allow us to automatically sort chests by clicking a little chest button in the top right corner of, uh, of each chest. So not only will we have this, but we're just going to we're going to have an auto sort button as well, too. So it's just about to get even spicier. So that's how you set this thing up. If you want to know an in-depth or if you want to know any more information on it, I suggest going to check in a block of Dectra. Like I said before, they have an in-depth walkthrough on how it, it's made. I think, you know, it's one of the coolest contraptions I've seen so far uh, done with everything that's on Core Keeper. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend going and taking a look at it because I think it's such a well done job that honestly, you know, it's going to make it so much easier for us to sort things. And all we really need to do is just make a large room. Now, as time goes on, of course, new things might come out that could change the way it goes, but this is probably your best option so far and the easiest option in order to manipulate, you know, how it goes. And don't don't forget if you actually have misplaced, for example, if you misplace the crane or or whatnot, and you want to go ahead and you want to 
replace the arm, you don't have to worry because in Core Keeper, you don't lose any materials breaking it down. So you can just punch it and replace it and, and you'll be okay. Um, so yeah, that's how it's all set up. Get going, make yourself your little auto sorter. I think it's awesome. Of course, I use generic green little chest, but you can go ahead and use the bigger boss chest, which look a little bit cooler. I just like the green because eventually I would like to change the color of these so that way each of them are individually labeled and whatnot. But down the road, I mean, it is better to make the bigger chest. So it just looks a little bit nicer. And that is how you make the auto sorting situation. So follow along, uh, make it in this unison if you want to. Obviously you can change it up if you feel free, but this is how you make yourself a little auto sorter. Huge shout out uh, once again to Block of Dextra. Great job on that. Make sure that you give them a like. Like I said, their, their link is down in the description. I will see you in the next video.